We have done numerous stories detailing and chronicling the demand, the increase in the demand for drugs like mm -hmm. heroin in our community. And as this happens, it is becoming increasingly easier for people who are struggling with addictions to keep these drugs undercover. And it's a very important part of all of this, not yeah. just for law enforcement, but loved ones looking out for people they love. Parents, principals, even police can barely keep up with the different places where drugs can be concealed in the modern world. And in a story you'll only see here on News 3, I found out just how easy it is for anyone to keep their habit hidden. You wake up and you're like dying because you need to have that. Like your body is like shutting down without it. And so begins a daily game of seek and hide. It's not the life I wanted, so it's not something I'm gonna be proud of. This former addict asked us to hide his identity. His boss and coworkers don't know he used to use heroin. I never would have done that, <laughs> but look where I am now, you know. He couldn't hide from it either. In September, someone passed him a needle. He woke up in the hospital. You can't really hide it. But that doesn't mean he didn't try. In his car, in ceiling tiles. You go to the bottom drawer and you pull out that drawer and then put your stuff in there and then put the drawer back in. Out of sight, out of mind. The longer you're unnoticed, the longer you can keep using. People are getting smarter and getting uh, more knowledgeable on how to hide drugs from us. Sounds real. Detective Paul Duman is part of Sauk County's drug task force. When they can hide smaller amounts in smaller vessels or safes, um, it's harder for us to, you know, find it. Arizona sweet tea with like a six pack of cans lined up in a refrigerator door. Is that a Morton salt container, uh, like tire seal, that type of stuff? Why is there a WD-40 can in my son's drawer? Why? Is there a permanent marker, you know, whatever, located somewhere else in a small vial? As smaller doses are more cleverly concealed, drug-related search warrants have changed dramatically for Duman and his team. So we're twisting caps and turning stuff and shaking stuff and making sure it feels right, looks right. We search absolutely everything. Most of the cans come, up, come apart on the top. We've done many search warrants and you know, you're thinking, oh, we must have missed stuff. News 3 wanted to see just how easy it was to get our hands on some of these so-called drug hides. Duman says most are advertised as safes for money or jewelry. There isn't a way to curb it, you know, because they market it as one thing, but it's used for another. Within minutes, our shopping cart was full. And within a week, they arrived. No questions asked. Looking just like the real deal. You just realize that anything, unfortunately, uh, could be carrying contraband material uh, that we don't want. By law, oh. Shane Bean and his staff at Sauk Prairie High can only search a student if there's strong suspicion of possession. Lockers are fair game since they're school property, but even then, things are hidden. One student buried weed in a mountain of paper balls. Others have tried making paraphernalia in art or shop classes. Staff have even found illegal substances in cars parked in student lots. Another time, a drug dog detected something in a bookcase. A student had uh, found a way to manipulate the, the um, textbook. It was missing like the center pages. To be able to uh, conceal a marijuana pipe. And the kid was hiding his dope right in the book and carrying it around school. Something can draw you in that you're willing to go to these levels to hide or conceal. Sounds real, real. one hitter pipe, and then it's got a spot for the drugs to be stuffed into. They couldn't believe that there were so many different varieties of items. Duman tries to get these hides in front of teachers and parents as much as possible. If they have a suspicion it's probably you know, that gut feeling is probably right on. You, you just have to keep your eyes open and watch for certain things that aren't adding up. And the longer these hides work, the more those struggling. Talking around it isn't going to fix it. We'll seek them out. It's just going to make your life worse and theirs too.
Now, both Detective Duman and Assistant Principal Bean regularly train their staff on the latest ways users are hiding their habits. Bean says teachers are now taught to identify students who may be under the influence since it's become so difficult to track down these substances on campus. I thought it was interesting how uh, the detective talked also about this idea of, you know, why would there be a can of WD-40 in right. my kids? So it's basically just paying attention. Right. And you got to be there. You got to be present and understand what's going on with your kids. You got to be there. And I think it's seeing things that are out of place and recognizing that they're out of place. But I think a lot of folks that use these too are making sure they're in the right place. That's the scary ensuring, part is, yeah, correct. I mean, you know, like the iced tea can that yeah. you had too, you know yeah, I mean? Like, this guy. Yeah. I mean, they found a six pack of these just lined up in a fridge like any other right. fridge. Which would not be out of place. Yeah, and this one's filled with plaster to kind of make it feel the same weight as yeah. the can would be. So, and the other interesting thing that parents should understand is the rights of uh, schools in searching for these. They cannot search a student unless there is a and strong the, reason. Yeah. And, and there's is, legitimate reason for that. Course. I mean, obviously, privacy, constitutional of privacy. Course. But yeah. there is this uh, notion of, oh, well, they can search my kid anytime. No, they cannot. They can yeah. search lockers. So, um, and they, nobody has the resources to have a drug dog there every single yeah. day. So, great uh, job. Thanks. Interesting it, really story. interesting stuff. Yeah, yeah, stick around. News 3 this morning. We'll be right back in just a few minutes.